Hello friends, uh, welcome to Dimapur Today Live Talk, sir. Yeah, friends, today we have a very special guest with us, and he's Mr. Imli Lee, yeah. aka Deja Vu. Yes, sure. So, uh, Mr. Imli Lee was the pioneer of hip-hop culture in Nagaland, and the host of a TV show called Backyard Bus, which was telecast, uh, it used to be telecasted in Doodarshan. Yes. yes. And uh, he was, he is also a three-time hip-hop rep. Hip hop winner, yes. Hip hop genre rap uh, winner at uh, Music Awards of Nagale. Exactly. Thank you so much sir, for this. My pleasure, and thank you for having me yeah. in Dimapur today. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, let before we begin, can we know something about hip hop culture in Nagale? What exactly? Yeah, sure. Hip hop culture. Uh, back then, when we started hip hop uh, rapping and, and stuff like that, uh, we were not access to internet like like these days. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in the early 2000s. Uh, I think before music, before music flourished in Nagaland, it was the dance culture. It was the b-boy and freestyle. No culture was there, so I was very much, uh, is, you know, into that scene. Okay. And from that, I started, you know, rapping. Whenever there was a break during the dance off, dance break uh, off, I used to take the stage and maybe present a song or two. That's how we started. I think. Um, Besides me, there were few rappers like uh, Birongje, my brother Birongje was there, Asale was there, you know, we were some of the few artists to, to you know, start rapping in Ireland. And then uh, I think uh, my first band as a band, uh, it was in 2004, we did originals back then and my first recording was in 2007. Okay. And then I, yes, I remember uh, I, I was part of the music out of Nagaland in 2010. That year, I didn't, I did not win, but I didn't give up. So I tried again for the next year, and that was uh, my song Deja Vu. I won an award for that. Even then, for the next two years again, I won consecutively. So after that, uh, the the team of music out of Nagaland they approached me. I was just a nominee at first, but they approached me and they asked me if. I can help them uh, with the backyard bus. Backyard bus. Yes, the there TV was show. there was a TV show oh. for duration. I was very <clears throat> reluctant because I was I was new into this thing, but uh, I just thought why not give it a try. And so uh, thanks to you know the Native Track Society for maybe you know inviting me into their world into their space, and that's how I uh, started to host uh, music uh, the thing Native uh, backyard, backyard bus. bus. Okay. And then from then on, I became a part of the team part of the music out of Naglin and since then they have given me so much freedom you know to do as I like you know so because of giving because of them giving me a chance uh, I have explored and I have learned so much and yes okay. uh, and I'm in the process of learning more okay coming back to this hip-hop culture mm -hmm. okay so what is the difference uh, these days and those days like uh, like how much yeah. it is the I think the, the main difference is ex accessibility to the internet. Uh, we were we were not uh, aware of uh, what to say the outside world. Besides some of the rappers that we see in uh, TV or in in the radios we hear on the radios. Uh, but nowadays is everything is just a click away. You know, go to YouTube. You can check out anything. You can learn so much. Back then it was just ears. We have just listen and write the lyrics on our own. And it was so much of hard work, but um, I think uh, the main difference is hard work. Nowadays, everything is just copy pass. Mm -hmm. But back then, we had to do everything from scratch, and and then um, I think our lyrics were more clean. That is why I try to maintain very clean lyrics. But these days, uh, um, though there are so many talented rappers, their lyrics are very explicit and uh, I, I think uh, somewhat vulgar. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't know. It's it's, it's just that, that type of music that I, <coughs> I would not encourage. Oh, so vulgar has become a culture these days. Yeah, I think so. And okay. people write song best on the temporary feelings. Okay. So that's that's what uh, I would not encourage the younger uh, generation. You know. Do you rap still these days? In fact, uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, because of getting involved in the music out of Naglin, uh, I had to sit back. You know, because uh, I couldn't promote myself, but I had to promote other talents. Mm -hmm. So I had to take the back seat, and you know, um, time didn't provide me, you know, enough uh, 
time to produce new songs but this year thanks to the lockdown i had so much time with me so i have produced like five songs five songs on my youtube channel okay. not just mine but uh, some other young artists i've produced okay. so you can check that out if you want to on my channel yeah can we know the name of your channel your it's just my name it's just imli lee bracket deja vu that's yeah. that's yeah. yeah friends please uh, you must support him please do subscribe yeah yeah you can check the music out yes. you know and more more i think uh, i'm working on two more songs so before the year ends i'll be uploading two more <laughs> videos is there any uh, uh, artists like uh, rappers these days in nagaland like uh, a potential one according to you ah, so many so many name, uh, can you name them um i think i have uh, high regards for uh, the new rappers uh, i i can see talents in uh, the the team of brodigies they have uh, they have wonderful talents there the team of prodigies and from the thing uh, what do you call it infinity inc i see so many talented rappers and producers and uh, i see moko koza i see uh, big dane you know so many potentials man we are scared of them like you know <laughs> okay. but we uh, be known that um, what to say uh, no matter what you do be humble and respect your elders and then you know things will open up for you <laughs> okay okay so okay now is it host tv host okay okay can we know something like your experience and uh, your experience first mm. i have some more questions yeah my experience was i don't know as a tv host as a i was i was very interview. new i was very new into the thing and i'm still learning Okay. it's a learning process uh, you are much better than me you know starting off uh, that was in 2013 i did the backyard bus i'm i'm still not good at it but i still try to just uh, i don't know just try to keep up with the rest of you guys and i'm still learning but experience was good it it has taught me a lot and i'm still learning you know i'm i'm still trying to be better and maybe <laughs> how many programs did you host I, mean, mm, i think we had like six episodes, six episodes. five or six episodes um, i After forgot Yeah, after that we just continued, but we were planning on uh, continuing with uh, another uh, maybe the second season, mm -hmm. and this year we were planning to, but uh, the lockdown happened and so we have pushed that um, uh, what to say the project further for the coming years. Hopefully, uh, this time we will not just focus on music and musicians, but maybe on food or some other you know travel maybe a travel uh, vlog yes travel vlog something like that. That's try something different okay, okay so what's your advice to upcoming like interview channels like ours um be consistent and be different mm -hmm. and try to hear out the the what to say viewers even the viewers uh, you know their their comments try to check them out but necessarily not the bad ones but the suggest you know suggestions and what not you try to listen to them and imply it into your uh, talk show okay so besides the uh, okay yes sir you were three times hip hop uh, genre yes. winner winner yeah. of the hip hop mm -hmm. in the kya bolte music awards music of Nagaland. Nagaland. yes yes But can we know the name of the, your songs like um, songs it was uh, life goes on rest in peace and uh, deja vu that was the first one deja vu yes it's in your channel yeah it's my channel yes yes like i said before i got joined the uh, team of music or of nagland i was a nominee myself okay. i had nothing to do with the music or but uh, maybe they saw something in me and that's why uh, despite losing the first award i tried again not giving up so they saw something in me maybe, maybe that's why uh, they they invited me to help them out with with the works and that's how i my journey began so like you accept that you are in old school very much yes <laughs> what's your suggestion or advice <clears throat> to new schools <laughs> uh, okay what the, I, the... it's it's uh, how, in, uh, on how you uh, you know project mm -hmm. uh, old school in a sense uh, not just a kind of song not just the lyrics but even the lifestyle i think oh, i mean like i, I don't like to uh, I, i don't appreciate the mumble you know, rappers these days you know they are okay. I, i don't know i'm a very lyrical person i like to stick to lyrics and you know mm -hmm. um, that that sort of so what about your person. fans i don't know if i have any fans but <laughs> you're not sure I, I, no no I, i'm just kidding uh, maybe there there are few people Most especially this. the 
uh, maybe the older generation might know me, but the new generation might not because it's it's a long time for me taking off music, uh, be, being behind the scene. But uh, I I have genuine uh, supporters, well wishers, not fans, but well wishers, who has been really supportive of me, and I'm I'm really thankful for them. And maybe uh, you can see me, you know, even 50 years if I'm alive from now rapping. So, grand bar rapper. You will continue. Definitely, uh, it will be part of, no matter what I do, no matter who I be become, <coughs> I'll definitely keep rapping and doing uh, something for the music industry. Yes. So, as a musician, mm -hmm. as an artist, do you think the uh, music industry has got scope in Nagaland? Yes, it has. Uh, the best example is, you can see from my good friends, Alobo Naga, or the Teto sisters, or Nisei, you know, etc, etc. Uh, the only downfall in most of the musicians nowadays is that uh, we just like me you know I used to be a, a rapper you know a young rapper and I used to depend on people like you know people will come and invite me or the government will come and help me out you know that is where things will slow down and that is where you know your talent will disappear don't wait on nobody don't wait on the government don't wait on anybody but Chess. Look, look out for people who are ready to help you. You know, knock on doors. Just strive and keep hustling. You know, I think that it's 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 how you promote yourself and how you present yourself to the world, and then lots of doors will open up for you. Yeah. Okay, so can we know something about the, like uh, your stage name, Deja Vu? Deja Why vu. did you choose this name? Mm -hmm. Deja Vu. I think Deja vu. there's so many, uh, so many restaurants and mm -hmm. what not names coming up with that but um let me tell you i i, I adopted this name back in 1999 you know we had a tuition group in, in our school okay. and and i think the tuition teacher was sir hokishe mm -hmm. sir hokishe sama so he named our tuition group as deja vu okay. i love that name so much i didn't even know back then what the meaning was but uh, i i love that name so much and from that time 1999 i just started calling myself deja vu deja vu and then later on i came to know what the meaning was it's a french word okay. already heard already seen you know mm -hmm. so it, it, it's so much relevant to my life <laughs> so deja vu it is okay so uh, it, uh, currently you are a host mem host and member of uh, nagaland music awards yes yes so uh, the winner are they being uh, awarded i mean cash award what are the money Yes, do you offer some cash, monetary help? Or? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, I mean, like it depends on the year. Like you know, this year we couldn't provide them with cash award because of the pandemic, and you know we had no sponsors. Right. First stop, uh, and and so uh, we had to uh, present them with trophies and certificates only because okay. of the you know pandemic. You know, you give them recognition. Yes, yes, oh. and I think we are the only award show in. In the world, maybe even uh, the in Grammys, the you know, they don't they don't pro give cash words actually. Okay, it's just a, you know it's just a trophy. But we do cash uh, we do give cash award just to you know mm -hmm. uh, maybe even the cash price cash price can do something for the artists. You know, it's not much, but maybe uh, it will do something some help to them. So we just give them a little bit of cash price. But this year we couldn't. Hopefully, we'll do next year. Okay. So, yes, sir. So, who was your favorite artist? Or uh, my, favorite, artist? Yeah. my favorite. My um, favorite. I don't know. I who inspired you for the first time. Those this okay. way back in nineteen ninety nine. I I think it was the types of Eminem, Linkin Park. They were their songs were played. You no, know, mm -hmm. maybe them. And later on, I, I, I also became a big fan of uh, Group One Crew, Lacrae, and our own. Notice uh, hip hopper like uh, Asale. Uh, Asale was yes, so he was also there, and of course the great Michael M. Silo. You know, okay. All this along the journey, you know, in the process of becoming a rapper, I've come across them and inspired, got inspired by their lives also. Yes. Are you happy, satisfied with uh, what you you have achieved so far? Good question. I think uh, that depends. On your you know your uh, your thoughts we I don't get a, a lot of uh, what to say attention or a lot of uh, money also you know doing what I do 
but I'm satisfied because I love what I do, man. Uh, you know, I want to take the younger generation to a place where we haven't we we haven't been, like especially the rappers. Uh, I really want to see them doing very well. You know, I don't get a lot of money, but uh, the satisfaction in what I do is what makes me happy. So yes, I'm very happy and what I do and and you know what I'm today. So, uh, have you participated in any rap battles? No, and even if I do, I'm going to lose badly. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> These guys, I can see. Them. Yes, there are lots of, lot yes. of rap battles going yes, on. Yes, yes, uh, and and then we. I'm a. I don't know. I'm a very private person. I, I'm not really outgoing. Also, so I, I I tend to keep things to myself. No, so that's what it is. <laughs> okay, one final question. Yes, please. It's very much out of your out mm -hmm. of the box. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like. Uh, uh, Mm, uh, are you interested in politics? Uh, politics, not really. I mean, deep down, uh, I've always, I don't know if you guys will agree or not, but deep down, I don't know, like every Naga, I've always had this uh, support for the Congress. But I, I think it's it's little dead in Nagaland, but nevertheless. Okay, so you're pro-Congress? Yeah, in my heart, deep down in my heart. and I But... I have uh, what to say. I have high regards for politicians, few politicians in Nagaland, mm -hmm. and I think if we see them as our chief minister in the future years, it, it will be. Uh, I think Nagaland will benefit a lot. So, have you ever made any songs uh, for the politicians or political parties or against in anti-corruption? So no, but I will. I will. I will definitely love to. Uh, maybe I'm planning on a new song. Maybe I'll attack the politicians. Uh, not really harming them, but maybe you know mention the, something about them. I think I'd love to do that. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. My yeah, pleasure. Thank you so much for your friends. Uh, this, this Mr. Emily Lee, Deja Vu. Please, we have a request with you. Please do visit this channel and uh, subscribe. Kardo. Support him. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, you can. already said that uh, old school. Hey, but mm -hmm. <laughs> support. Chahiye. Yeah. Once again, thank you so much for having me and just a word to the young people out there. Whatever you do, you know, stay humble, be consistent and also respect your elders. And, you know, because of someone giving me a chance, I am who I am today. Uh, that's why give chance to others, give chance to the younger generation. If you are, if you are something in life, uh, no matter what you are, model, a dancer or anything, give chance to the younger generation so that uh, they will go places you haven't been and they will you know they will they will go to greater heights and keep inspiring people thank you so much for having me <laughs> thank you thank you so much